Hi. Okay. I on this video, I I just I have this really strong urge of um, bring forth what is what you feel is right. Because once you bring forth what you feel is right, if it if if it goes along the lines of free will, of um, having everybody's perspective, taking it from a neutrality concept of point of view of the perception that this judgment comes from, of your joy, then go ahead and do it. I, I was watching this video and this guy was like, if it makes you happy and you're not, and you're being kind to people, what can go wrong? What are you doing wrong? It's just, it's, it, I like to say it's silly, because it's the most preferable way of saying that it, of how silly it is that you think that by doing something that makes you happy, you're doing something wrong. It's really, you may not have the entire understanding of whom you are, your true self, your essence, where you came from, why you're here, what are you going to do in life? But the only way you're going to be able to find that out is if you do what you feel that is right. And by being kind, what are you doing wrong? Like, anything, anything. Because everything is a perspective. Everything is a viewpoint. Everybody is in balance with each other. So once one person says no, the other person says yes to the exact same thing. It's called mutuality. It's from one perspective to the next. You bring it forth of good or bad. It's the same thing. You can fluctuate. But if, not just to repeat myself, but if it is your joy, then do it. Like I was saying, you may not know your background, your true self and whatnot, that you are an essential, an essential part of the whole of what is the universe, what is everything. Even if you just think there is nothing, aren't you still part of the whole of what is Earth? You're still part of it. You still count. You're still equal to everything. You, your opinion accounts just like anybody else's opinion counts. This video, yes, is directed to people doing what they want in a kind, loving way, but also to get people to look and see that, hey, this law that says this doesn't make sense. It has no standpoint and needs to get revamped. I'm talking about, let's, let's, let's take it home. Let's hit the ball in the ballpark. Marijuana. Weed. Not because of anything else, but if it brings joy to someone, then do it. Like driving. I can kind of understand that to an extent because when we have this technology and everybody could be equal because of this technology, but because people saying that you can't live your joy, that you have to do this, this, and this in order to get this, when in all actuality, there's free energy where you can grow your food inside. I mean, like, Instead of having a farm outside, you grow the food inside. So all year round, climatized and bug free and drug free. Like, like I was saying about the car, everybody could have a GPS system on the, on the screen that drives the car for you, or at least gives you an understanding of what everybody else is doing, the speed limits, what's going on. There's a kid out there. There's this person that wants to be going 80 because they're in rush hour or they, they have, they're have. 
they're going to be late to work, but now knowing that they're going 80, you're not going to be in danger because you know to get over so that they can go 80 and get to work, even though that it's not unnecessarily preferable, but can everything always go by the T of the book? You know, you could read a book and read a book on everything, but once you go to swim in that ocean that you swim, you read on that it's safe to swim here because there's no sharks and this is how you swim and you can do it backwards and you can float. Can you really swim? No, you cannot. Unless you were like absolutely like just destined to be an instantly awesome swimmer. That probably means you would never have been reading the books. You would have been swimming most of the time. So, but just, just think about it. Why is it not okay that you can do what you want to do, what you don't want to do. I mean, like really. But seriously, just think about next time when somebody says you have to do this. You don't necessarily have to do anything. The only thing, the only thing that you ever, 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 ever have to do is be you be the best of you that you can be at that moment of you being because if you need to cry then cry it's okay it's okay it's okay you need a hug i'm gonna give you a hug You need somebody to cry on my shoulders here. Understand that it's okay to cry, to yell. But it's not okay to, it's not preferable to take your anger out on somebody else when it was this person that got you angry in the first place. But in the same sense, it's not okay to take your anger out on that person that got you riled up in the first place. Because who chose to do it? You did. You chose to get upset. Because how do you know that that person isn't walking a fine line of breaking down and just saying, No more. I'm done. I'm calling it quits. Bye bye. I'm severing this link to this body right now. I'm done. How do you know that's not how that person's feeling? By that one teensy tiny outburst to the overall day because that's the only moment you see of them so it's the biggest moment of your interaction you're going to base it on that when it's the only reaction you had of them and maybe you had a bad day but does that mean you really should take it on them because you chose to look at it from a point of view of unpleasantry instead of neutrality bringing both forth and looking at it from a positive perspective you chose to look at it from this perspective which is okay that's beautiful why you want to learn from something from that but it's not okay to do that because it it's not even okay it's to a certain point it's not preferable to beat yourself up because you don't want to beat you don't want to take it out on somebody else and you don't want to take it out on that person that made you feel that way which is really yourself or that other person that assisted you because it's a team effort of feeling that way. That's why you need to forgive yourself. You need to move on and forgive yourself or you always will feel stuck in you. You'll never, ever, ever move on. Because forgiving yourself, here's the kicker. It's give for. It's a backwards thing. It's backwards and mixed up. Give for. Forgive. Because once you forgive, once you give for, you're going to feel so much more better about yourself. So much more liberating, freed, and just... Centered and balanced. Whenever you feel so stressed out, breathe in, breathe out. Do it a couple of times. You just meditated. Every time you breathe, you're reborn and renewed. 
But just remember, it's okay. Everything will be fine. Don't beat yourself up. Everything happens for a reason. If you take it from a neutral point, you can understand it in a sense of what it means to be clear and direct in that decision making of being able to see both sides, but in a judgment free understanding of it. It's okay. It's okay. It's okay. It's okay. Hug yourself. Hug yourself. Hug yourself. Say it's okay. Stop this video and say it's okay. Even though it's going to be, I don't know, but just. Because if you don't want to hug yourself, who does? If you don't want to be around yourself, then who does? That's why it's so essential to take that five minutes of your day. Some people only have that five minutes. A minute here, a minute here, a minute here. But that five minutes can make you happy. Or you're able to see, oh, this is why that happened. Yes, I was late to work. But you know what? I got to listen to my favorite song. There's always a positive and negative to everything. If you always intend to look at the positive things, that's how your day will look. And that's how what you give out positivity, that's what the universe is going to give you back. Because what you give out is what you give. Get. It's give and take. But if you wake up each day and say, today... Before you even open your eyes, <laughs> say it's going to be beautiful, it's going to be amazing, I'm going to learn so much, I'm going to grow and be centered and balanced for my skills and my gifts, and, that, and I'm going to I'll be able to hold the space for everybody else to understand. But most of all, it's okay. It's okay. But every now and again, hug yourself, love yourself. Breathe. Even if you're just standing and somebody's talking to you and you're upset, just be like, you know what? And then go back at it. Because if you snap at them, you're giving them that energy that you want them to snap at you. Because everything is a 360 degree mirror. Of from the inside out, it's a direct way of seeing what's going on with yourself. Like I said, you may not understand your whole background of who you are, what part you are, even if you don't believe in all that, your part here in the world. But even if you do believe in all that, there's always positive, negative. Positive, negative. What is your viewpoint and what's your perspective? Bless me. Bless you. Um, from that of the Bible, the religion. What is religion? What, it's what brings you joy. It's your absolute enjoyment of what is enjoyment for you. That's what the re religion is. But from the Bible... If it doesn't end in love, is it really God? Or is it just man's interpretation? 